Grill Parametric 4.0 added a few really nice enhancements for materials. Here I have a part model open and if I want to assign a material I can do that from the model properties dialog box which you normally get to from file prepare and model properties but this is something that you're going to use so often that you'll probably want to add it to your quick access toolbar. And here I have materials, nothing is assigned, so I will click the change button. The first enhancement is that PTC now provides you with a limited Granta material database. So for example, let's say I want to use a ferrous metal, and here I'll use cast steel, and I can add it to my model and it's automatically assigned as the material. That's what that little arrow over there means. And I can also add, let's say, a low, oil, a low alloy steel. And let's add it to the model. So now I've got two different materials in here. Let's click OK. And here I have the material assigned. I'm going to close the dialog box to show you that now we have a materials folder in the model tree. If I expand this, you can see the assigned material and the other material that's added, and I can select it, right mouse click and hold, and choose assign if I want to change the material. And if you don't want to see this materials folder in the model tree, you can go to the settings button and then choose tree filters and turn off its display but I like to have it in there, so I'm going to have it back in there. All right, so the next enhancement that we'll take a look at is the ability to define flexibility for materials. And again, I'm going to go to the Model Properties dialog box, and in here we have our component flexibility. And right now, nothing is design, defined as flexible. In other words, when I place this in an assembly, I'm going to get the standard definition of this component. If you click the Change button, there is an additional tab in here. In Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier, you had dimensions, features, geometric tolerances, parameters, and surface finishes, but now we have materials. And here's the material. We can click the plus sign and then click OK. And now we see that flexibility is defined. So we will close out of here. Now I will be able to select from different materials when I place this in an assembly. And there's a trick, so let me show this to you. Let's uh, create a new assembly, and I'm not going to change the name or anything. So I've got my assembly. What you'll want to do in order to take advantage of flexibility is add materials at the assembly level. So I will go to my model properties again. No materials are assigned. Let's click the change button. And I still have my legacy materials like you had before. Let's add this aluminum to the model. Uh, let's see anything else in here. Uh, let's grab this stainless steel, add it to the model. And if I hit the back button, it allows me to go to my grant to materials database. Let's go to our non-ferrous metals. And maybe I also want to have the titanium definition. And by the way, note that with the materials from the Granta database, you do not have the ability to modify their values, which is probably a good thing. All right, let's add this titanium to the model as well. So again, I've got the 6061, the stainless steel, and the titanium. Let's click OK and close. Now I will assemble that component. Let me go to In Session to grab the cover. And it says, hey, wait, this part has predefined flexibility. Do I want to use it when I place the component? I'm going to say yes. And here we have the varied items dialog box. I can go to materials. Let's make this a little wider. And for the new material, if I go to the drop down list, there you see the three different materials that I added at the assembly level. Let's use 6061. I don't want to break my budget and click OK, and then for locating it, default constraint, hit the check mark, 
and here you see that we have the folder for the materials that are added at the assembly level. If you take a look at the cover part, it's got the little spring next to it indicating that this component has flexibility applied to it. And if I expand the node in the model tree and then expand materials, here we can see that we have the two materials that I added to the part at the part level but here is the material that is added at the assembly level. I hope you liked this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.